Hey guys, North Wales Mini Wargamer here with uh, my latest update on my formation of a Warriors of Chaos army. Um, here we find I've finally got my Skull Crushers of Corn done. Um, obviously, there's the base and I've got left to do on them, but I've got most of the paintwork done, so I thought I'd bring you these you guys these updates. I'm really cracking down on the videos now, hopefully getting them out a lot quicker. I've got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff going on in the works, and um, yeah, I'm hopefully bringing out a lot more content for you guys, so keep updated, keep subscribed, and keep watching. Right, we'll have a look, a bit of a closer look at these guys then. So right, we'll start off with the standard bearer. Right here, we've got the standard, nothing fancy on there, just stuck to the, just stuck to the old painting the symbol gold on there. I'm going to do a bit more work on the skulls. I'm going to highlight them with um, I forget what it's called now. Carrack stone. There we go. Um, and then there's some little touch-ups here and there that need doing but other than that this guy's pretty much done. These are really fun models to paint however I advise that you leave the base off when you paint them because the underside um, you can't really see it because of the base. As you can see, like the metal parts here, they go all the way underneath. Ah, there you go. You can see it there, just in there. They are extremely difficult to paint with this base on because obviously the angle. Ooh, shaking the camera a bit there. As you can see, it's a bit awkward to get in at. So if you remove the, remove the base, actually this guy is actually falling off the base a bit. Yeah, there we go. Haven't stuck him down properly. But see now, now that you've got him off the base, you can get in there much nicer, much easier, and you can get much more detail on all the surrounding mechanical bits in there. So that's my standard bow. Now next we've got the. Oh, come on, we've got the champion with his big old axe. And so he's just got an axe and a shield on his massive juggernaut. As you can tell, this one's a bit brighter than the others. I actually prefer this. I think it's a much more deep set red. It's much more, it means that the highlighting, I can work the highlighting a lot more. And the gold's actually not gold, it's brass on there. It's rune lord brass on that one, whereas it's Gehenna's gold on here. Or with a touch-up of auric armor gold. So it's a much more vibrant and it looks a bit too new. Whereas, also if you look, this is the, this is the first one I did. And I did this guy about a month back. Whereas these two I've done in this past week. So I've tried new things and experimented with new techniques and stuff. And also... Oh, the as you can see the scratches on the arm here. Ooh, focus, focus. Just bear with me one second. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. You can see the scratches on there. Whereas if you look on the new ones. I've actually got metal. I've put still. I've put like a metal, as if the chip, the paint, the paint's been chipped off, so that it looks much more realistic, as if um, an axe has hit it and peeled off the paint as well on the sides. So it's not only dug into it; it's worn away at the sides as well. Done a bit of rusting sort of thing. Done it all over the front here. Giving them silver teeth. The emblems have left black in there. I thought that looked was nice. Yeah. These the helmets on these are brilliant. They are really nice helmets. Beautiful helmet, like models to do. Ooh. Yeah. 
yeah so these are really fun models to paint these are brilliant quite they're quite easy to put together as well actually there's a lot of bits but they're quite easy they're not they're not bad at all so um if you've got a Warriors of Chaos Army in the works, I advise that you get some of these from an aesthetics point of view because they are absolutely brilliant models. They're brilliant to paint, brilliant to put together, and um, I've had great fun doing these. So I'd suggest them to anybody who's trying to start a Warriors of Chaos Army, go for it. They're good fun um, and well worth it. Um, yes, on another note, however, if you haven't watched my previous video... Um, Please go ahead and check it out. It's about um, the the actual video is called Blood Ravens and Future Plans. However, it is predominantly about what I'm doing in the future. I am going to be starting a Space Marine Army, and on that video, you can go, you can in the comments write either you can vote for the colour scheme of my new Space Marine Army. So it's going to be either Salamanders, Imperial Fist, or Blood Ravens. Just write the name of the chapter that you want to see me do, and watch the video, obviously. And subscribe if you want to follow along when the army does start coming out. But get your vote in. Get what, get what you want to see on this channel, you know? I'm doing this for you guys. So, you know, get down there, get your vote on. And uh, make sure you, you vote so that your chapter that you want gets on, gets on my channel and I start doing it. At the moment, as the time of this video is being made, um, salamanders are in the lead. So, if salamanders ain't what you want, get on there and vote. Get your chapter in. As always, this has been me, guys, North Wales Mini Wargamer. And I will see you in the next one. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.